All right, today we're going to be working with blocks and recording in blocks and then taking your recordings and putting them in to the full sequencer, which is in song mode. So we're going to switch to block, and I already have three things pre-recorded, which is the intro, verse, and bell melody, and I'm going to stay on intro right now. And so I'm going to switch over to song, because I already have it recorded, and hit the pencil tool. Come over here and make sure you have intro selected, and oh, drag from left to right, which is one to nine bars, and then when you play it, it'll play inside there. So I'm going back to block and you can see that I already have my verse recorded which is a string line so I can come over to song so I'm going to select verse and come from 9 all the way to 25 right here which will be 16 measures because that's how long I want the verse to be so playing out of the intro right into the verse it will automatically switch to verse block which is kind of empty right now and one thing you can't do is if you come to block and I have this bell melody created I can't just switch over to song and write it in because it'll overwrite the verse you have to come to the block and right click copy or control C or command C if you're using Mac whatever you are um, go back to your verse select the point where you're entering and right click paste or control P, command P, whatever you're using and it'll now be in your verse and you can see it's automatically filled in which I only copied at the beginning so I gotta go back and enter it into the last four bars so that it will be in the whole section so it automatically updates for you, you don't have to come back and change everything also I will come over here and delete that line and I can come back to song start on the verse and I can record right over it and it'll be recorded right over it and when you go back to your block and get on your verse it's not there it is only in song mode so you can take it out without ever having to go back to your block but if you're staying in blocks it's a little bit more simplified so I'm just gonna go back to show you just again I have to my bell melody so I'm going to click on this and copy it and then head back to my verse where I'm going to right here at the beginning and right click paste right click paste control P command P whatever it is so I have it in my melody the melody is in the verse so when I come back and go to the block and I'm gonna create say the chorus so chorus and whatever my string line is going to be in there um, here I'll just we'll get a four there and oh there we go that's what I was looking to do and come over to my bell melody again if I want to keep the same bell melody saying not saying that I would do that because it is kind of repetitive but if you were not judging you if you use your lines a lot and then paste my bell melody in and it's in there so I can go back to song and well that's not what I was trying to do uh, make sure you change up here where block is change it to whatever you're using because then you're gonna double write the verse because that's what you last used and 16 I don't know how long is your chorus I don't know you can choose that but I'm gonna do eight bars just like my or not eight uh, 12 bars just because I like the verse to be longer and so it'll play which is a really bad song I'm just using it as an example and that is how you use blocks and of course you can always just get rid of it because you don't like it come back and just totally clear your chorus start from new which is awesome okay so I'll come to the verse again and 
Here's the bell melody. Say I'm in song mode though. And here's my I'll play this and say when it gets right here, I want it to just be just the bells for some reason. Just click and it'll mute that individual track. Unmute. There we go. That is blocks in a nutshell.